The seminary is often known as the seedbed or a vocation is deepened and developed. But in a truer sense, the family is the first place where the seeds of a vocation began, begin, and the parish is where that vocation is encouraged and nourished. This weekend, in all the parishes of the Archdiocese, we focus on the need for vocations to the diocesan priesthood. And so we've brought in a homeboy, Luke Lado, who has lived here and his family's lived here. Many of you know him. Luke is now a first theologian at Mundelein Seminary, and he's going to share with us his reflections. Luke? Where's Luke? Okay. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. What powerful words St. Paul gives us today in the second reading. I want you to hold on to these words as I spend a few moments here reflecting upon myself and my time in the seminary. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. As Father said, my name is Luke Lado, and I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Chicago, which means I'm in the formation to the priesthood, and I'll be a priest in the Chicagoland area. I grew up here in Glenview. Our Lady Perpetual Help is my home parish. My three siblings and I went to school here, kindergarten through eighth grade. My parents still live in the same childhood home that we grew up in. And we attended Sunday Mass every week. We sat in the back in the Mary Chapel. We know you exist back there. And yes, we sat there every Sunday. Faith and the church were very present in our family's house. We grew up watching saint movies, going to monthly rosary groups with other families around the parish. We never missed a Sunday Mass. My mom, who's sitting right here, <laughs> she was not a helicopter mom who cared a lot about your grades in school necessarily. However, if we brought home a grade lower than an A in religion, we had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up with the mindset that no matter how smart you are or how successful you are, without your faith, it means nothing. It is our Catholic faith that will get you through life. Outside of my family, there weren't very many opportunities for me to have significant faith growth. So by the time I got to high school, I immediately entered into this party lifestyle. I went to New Trier High School. You know, we live in an area where no matter where you send your kid, Loyola Academy, Glenbrook South, New Trier, Regina, Notre Dame, etc., that lifestyle is very easy to get lost in. And by the end of my high school career, I felt very empty. I was lost. I had really no meaning in my life. What was I living for? And then all of a sudden, a group from my parish, our parish, went to a place on pilgrimage. And my mom brought me. And this place, Our Lady, Mother Mary, has been appearing to people. And on this journey, I experienced the love of Jesus for the first time in my life. I realized that I can develop a relationship with Christ. I felt his thirst, Jesus' thirst for you and for me. And from this experience, I went off to college in Washington, D.C. at the George Washington University. And immediately I immersed myself into the Catholic Newman Center there. For the first time in my life, I had people my age who were wanting and striving to live for the Lord. We were going to daily mass, daily adoration. We had confession offered to us every single day. We had Bible studies, purity groups, 
as well as incredible service opportunities around Washington, D.C. But one of the most impactful things that I had was an amazing young priest. His name was Father Charlie. This young priest, Father Charlie, showed me the beauties of the priesthood. He showed me how living your life fully for the Lord is the only life worth living. He embodied a joy that not too many people have. He showed me what it means to be an altus Christus, which means in Latin, another Christ. A saint once said, there are two places a person can fully see Jesus alive here. The first and foremost here at the altar in the Holy Eucharist, but then also in the priest. When a priest is ordained to the priesthood, he enters into in persona Christe. He is in the person of Christ. And this young priest, Father Charlie, embodied that. And it moved my heart and birthed my own desire to become an altus Christus, another Christ as well. So after two years at GW, not only did I grow immensely in my faith, I excelled in my political career that I was striving for. In only two years, Jesus led me to actually making my goal, reaching the job of my dreams. And I had an experience to work there for a short period of time until the Lord said to my heart, Luke, I know you are happy, but I have something even better. And so I took some time to discern. I went on a retreat, and the Lord made it clear. He was inviting me to go to the seminary and become his priest. And I'm so grateful that he gave me the grace to say yes, because I am the happiest I have ever been in my life. From there, I transferred to the University of St. Thomas, where we have a college seminary called St. John Vianney. Yes, you can be in seminary in college. So I was there and got a bachelor's degree in philosophy, and I officially have moved up to Mundelein Seminary, just 30 minutes north of here, and I'll be there for the next four years until I am ordained a priest. During this time in seminary, I've gone to Guatemala for two months to learn Spanish. I've lived in Tijuana, Mexico, serving former gang members and cartel leaders, seeing them experience the love and mercy of Jesus Christ, having conversions. I lived in West Humble Park here in Chicago with the Franciscans of the Holy Eucharist feeding about 400 families a week at their food pantry. Our academic professors at the seminary, both at St. Thomas and at Mundelein, were incredible, forming our minds with the incredible intellectual tradition our Catholic Church has. But most importantly, my time in the seminary, I have had incredible resources and opportunities to grow, in a deep intimacy and love with Christ, especially through extended long retreats that I spent this summer with Father Hickey, actually, as well as days of recollection and plenty of times of silence with the Lord. What a gift my vocation is. What a gift that Jesus is calling me to serve him at his altar. What a gift you all are to me and my brothers. It is because of your incredible generosity we have such amazing opportunities to grow and be formed into the priests you all deserve to have. So today, I'm here to ask you if you would please continue to support us so that we can become even better priests, saintly priests, who you deserve to be loved by and to serve by. My last thing I would say 
is that I know that I am not the only person here with a vocation to the priesthood and religious life. We need to grow as a community to encourage our young ones to be open to this great, beautiful life of the priesthood or the re religious life as a religious sister. A vocation is the place where we will find and experience the true joy in our lives. So let us help our young ones find that joy. Show them the beauty of the life of a priest or a religious sister. So please, I ask that you pray for me and my brothers at Mundelein. You pray for vocations. But truly, parents and grandparents, encourage your children that this life fully for the Lord is an incredibly beautiful life. And if anyone out there has possibly heard a call or is interested or wants to find out more, please talk to me. I will be at, here after mass. We have plenty of resources and support. So for now, let us go off and ponder on what St. Paul has said to us. None of us live for oneself. We live for the Lord, and it is truly there we will have the fullness of joy and fulfillment. So thank you all. I am praying for you, and may God bless. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, Funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org, click on the gold donate button, and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.